I did some cleaning up the other day. As you all know, we're going to be moving. Cleaning up the garage. I found something in my garage. Something that I haven't used in the last couple years. Not as messy now, but it used to be pretty messy all on top of a snow plow. Look at that. Yes, I do have a straight blade. <laughs> and a salter back there too. So what I'm going to do today, I kind of miss using the uh, straight blade. I might just put it onto this truck and take off the V-blade. So let's talk a little bit about my uh, V-blade and straight blade from Arctic. All right, so here we are. So I got the, uh, the straight blade out of the garage. Yeah, the garage is a lot more empty. If you've been following me, uh, yeah, you would have seen how jam-packed this garage was before. I'm looking forward to, uh, to the new, uh, new garage at the, uh, our new property that we bought. So we'll be moving in February. It's uh, pretty much a four car deep garage. So it'll be a big change compared to, uh, compared to this. So I'm loving the dollies that I made. I know I, I made a video about the, uh, these dollies that I made for the, uh, for the plows. I'm telling you, oh, it rolls so nice and easy. I, uh, when I only had the straight blade, I got a set of snowmobile dollies. So these guys, I'm sure you've seen these around. You can buy them at stores. So I got, still have the set down there, but they're terrible. I'm telling you. Which one is it here? Yeah, one of them, the wheel just totally bent. They can't handle it anyway. Like people say, yeah, you can use the snowmobile dollies. Well, it all depends on how heavy your plows are anyway. So, okay, let's get at, at this. Okay, so I took the uh, the V-blade off the truck already. I just didn't want to make too long of a video here of how to take off the plow and everything. So this is the V-blade that uh, I've been using uh, all of last season and uh, this season uh, up until, well, right now. I'm going to make that decision if I'm going to continue using this V-blade or use the old girl, the straight blade. So this is my first plow that I got a few years back when I got into plowing. Uh, with my business. So, when did I get this? I think it was 2017? 16. Yeah. So I used this for a few years. I haven't used it in the last couple of years. So it is a lot older. Uh, it is Arctic. So this is a seven and a half uh, foot straight blade. Both plows are Arctic. This one's uh, newer. This is only about five years old. I got to steal the deal on it. Now the only reason why I bought this V-blade uh, when did I get it? A couple seasons ago, anyway, in the fall. I was looking for a salter. So I was going to keep the straight blade here. And uh, I found an Arctic salter. Which I'm not using. I know, it's all confusing. You guys are all scratching your head. Why the hell aren't you using that salter? Well, we'll get into that in a little, in a little bit. So I found a salter, but it came with this V-blade. And it was a little bit more money than what I wanted to spend. But it was one hell of a deal, I'm telling you. I pretty much got the Salter for free and I paid about half of what you would pay brand new for one of these uh, V-Blades. So I paid like three grand for everything. It was only used one season and it was, I think, four years old. And it was stored indoors. The thing's pretty much brand new. So I couldn't pass that up. So I thought, you know, I'll try the V-Blade and see what all the hype is about. Um, for, for what I do for properties, and stuff, I could get away with continuing using the straight blade, even though it's like, what, six inches, uh, not as wide as that one. Really, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Now, which one do I like better? You know what, I like both of them, to be honest with you. I like the uh, the old school look of the straight blade with these uh, with the old school lights. But I do like the, the V blade too, because of some options, and it has a, uh, newer sleek licking lights. So, difference obviously with a V-blade is that you can go into the V position, so you can V it out, and you can scoop. So, you know, both these blades would curve in into the V position, and you could scoop snow and pile it up. Or you can V it back and do a laneway, and snow will be uh, um, going out both sides, right? 
or you can use it as like a straight blade and go right or left up and down so let me show you the controller quick this one anyway let me turn this off so this is a controller for the v-blade okay so obviously you have uh, a lot more and let me put this down here yeah so you got scoop so that's gonna that's gonna v it uh out right so you can kind of scoop and then pile up and then v uh this is going back so you're in like a v position so you're cutting through snow and you're getting piles on both sides right self-explanatory so you got your uh the right wing in and right wing out and right just to turn the whole blade to the right and then the same thing on the left, so uh, left left wing out, left wing in, left out. And then you got your up and down to bring the plow up and down. So a lot of buttons there going on, you know, and you don't want to be looking down when, you know, when you're plowing, you're changing your gear and, you know, whatever. So you got to feel everything out and you got to know. So I, I pretty much figured it out. Uh, it was tough, you know, when I started uh, with the V-blade because I was so used to the straight blade. And... Uh, no, the V-blade the is a great blade, I'm telling you. So, I should have got this out. Oh, I'll do that right here. So here's a controller for the straight blade. I don't think I need to point at anything, but pretty basic. <laughs> so when you have this on your lap, you know, you left, right, up, down. Okay, a monkey can operate that. Also on, on both of them, you got your power to turn on and off. And you got your switch right there. So, as you can see for the straight blade, very simple. One other thing I want to show quick, go back to the truck. So both my trucks, I don't know if this one's unlocked. No, it is unlocked. So both my trucks, this is my diesel truck. I think I got two, uh, two connections here. One for the V-blade. One for the uh, uh, straight blade controllers, right? Exact same setup here. So I got the V-blade controller still plugged in right there, and then the other one right there is for the straight blade. So if I decide to put the straight blade on, then I'm going to plug in the straight blade controller into that one. And uh, they're very different anyway, and you know which is which. So, so that's set up. Exact same in both trucks that I can use the V-blade or the straight blade in either my main plow truck or my diesel truck, which I have mounts, exact same mounts for Arctic, same lighting harnesses and battery plugins. on both trucks battery and there's the connectors there for the lights and stuff so everything the exact same on both trucks so that's kind of nice that's my backup plan I know people talk about backup plans it is important you know depending on how much snow removal you do you know if your truck breaks down what are you gonna do you can't just rent a truck that's gonna have your your plow system and mount on the truck you know and that's why I bought that truck too. I know I talked about it in another video, but uh, because my diesel truck was in the shop, so it was a few years back, and uh, I didn't have my truck and plow. That's when I only had the uh, straight blade. So I was kind of stuck. So, talking about these, yeah, this blade here, it's been reconditioned it's been painted and everything. So maybe the original sticker's still on it there, but very simple. You know, easy to maintain. Two hydraulic lines, that's it. You know, V-blade, yeah, you're gonna have two hydraulic lines on both sides. Everything's in case there. It is newer. I think this blade, probably about 15 to 20 years old. I know it looks newer, but yeah, it's been painted and everything, and it works fine. So, I think I made up my decision. I like both of them. <laughs> and honestly, 
I know people with V-blades are going to be like, well, you stupid, don't put that straight blade back on. Just use, keep your V-blade. You can use it as a straight blade and this and that. Yeah. But you know what? I like simple, and I kind of miss the old girl. And I'm going to put the uh, straight blade back on the truck, and I'm going to have a go with it and see uh, how it goes. I want to make sure everything's working fine with it, too, because I know this is 100% fine. Everything's working fine. Um, so what we're going to have to do... It is our law here. You got to have a license plate. You can't leave your license plate on your truck and have it blocked. You got to put it on your plow. So I got to mount right here. I got to switch out the license plate. Same thing when you're running a salter. You know, I see some people that have the uh, same kind of salter, you know, the, the hitch mount salter. So you can put a license plate on right there. It's the law. You got to put your license plate on there. So at least here in Ontario. So I don't know how it is. Uh, where you are, but you know, I see some other people that don't do that, and I don't, I don't know. Do you get a fine for that? You know, the police will pull you over. You can't see your license plates. So, uh, so all in all, I like both of them. I am happy I got the V blade. I'm happy that I kept my straight blade. I could have sold that, but really, you know, sell it for what? I own it. Uh, I didn't really need the money at the time, and I might as well keep it. So it's my backup plan. Two trucks. I got a backup two plows I got a backup same setup on both trucks perfect you know if I run into any issues so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put on the uh, on the straight blade on the truck okay The old girl straight blade back on. Nice and simple. Doesn't seem to be leaking or anything. Hydraulic lines look fine. It's just two, like I said, simple. Lights all work. It's just a little dusty. Probably got clean in the snow. The blade is great still on it. Just tuck all the wiring in there. Well, everything looks good. So getting back to uh, just quickly, the reason why I'm not using my salter this year. So last year I had the salter, uh, the hitch mount on the back here of the truck. Um, now with this dump box, the truck bed is a lot higher. Well, Here's the uh, the original bed right there, right? So now you're up to to here. So looking maybe close to six inches. And that makes a difference when uh, lifting stuff into the back there, like my snow thrower, which I like to use on some properties for sidewalks, 
and stuff. Now, this year, and I did it on purpose, I, I don't do really any salting, okay? I have a couple, but I can do it all by hand. So what I do is I, I have pails, salt. So it stays dry in there. I never put bags of salt in the back. I learned that the hard way, and I think we all learn that, you know, when the snow starts melting. And, you know, even, even if you think those bags of salt are, uh, are sealed, water gets in there and it turns rock hard. Everybody knows that. So I know some of you might be saying, hey, there is a swing away hitch that you can get to. And, and yes, there is. I could get a, a swing away uh, that I can unhook and then swing the, uh, the salter over and open up the tailgate to get stuff in. Now, the problem with that is with my uh, salter, I have a plug in that goes in here for uh, my reverse spotlight. Okay, and then I have, I'm not going to pull them all out now, but they're all tucked in behind there. Got one for the vibrator for the salter that comes out. And of course the control uh, wiring uh, for the controller and uh, battery and stuff, all that. Now, every time, if I got a swing away, if I had to swing this open, I would have to, this one's not a big deal. Oh, also I have a backup camera right here, which I, I rigged up. There's a... Uh, a connector in there so when I did have the salter on I take this little bit off here and the wire is long enough it comes around to the back of the salter and then I mount that camera on the back of the salter and plug it in again uh, I got wiring on the salter for that so that's one two the vibrator for the salter three and then a controller four things that I have to unplug every time and swing that thing I'm sure you all agree right now I want to unplug all that stuff every time, especially when it's cold. You got plastic connectors and then they break on you and everything. No. So I'm salting uh, a couple by hand and really it takes me an extra five minutes versus the convenience of sitting in your truck and staying warm and using that. Now next year, if I get more into it, um, I'm going to be concentrating more on just country uh, laneways. And if I have to do any salting, I will be hooking up that salter on the truck because uh, my plan is not to have to get out of the truck, plow laneways, and that's it. And not use the snow thrower for sidewalks or anything, which I am right now. So I have to lift this in the back. and So it all makes sense. Everything I do makes sense to me. It's uh, how I do it. I'm not telling you to do it this way or use a straight blade or a V-blade. It's whatever works for what your application is and what you're doing. So hopefully I didn't bore the hell out of everybody with this video. Like I said, it's just uh, what I do and how I do it and, and it works for my application. So one thing I, I didn't mention, what I, what I do like about this straight blade, yeah, it is six inches, not as wide as my uh, eight foot, it's a seven and a half foot wide, but it's a lot lighter. So, you know, just driving around and also this plow, it lifts up so much higher than, than my other one. Now I know you can adjust those chains and I, I did on the other one, but it's just the uh, design of it. I guess with the V-blade, it doesn't go up as high. And then when you leave it in the V position, when you're driving, because you know you want that aerodynamic with the wind, you know, if you're driving fast, if you keep that in the V position, the corners, the bottom corners, um, are pff, got maybe six inches, maybe even like lower than that, like not far. So, you know, you have a little dip in the road, whatever, you're scraping that corner on the road. So with this blade here, it goes pretty high. Quickly, you know what? I'll put it up just so you can see. So I got the controller all hooked up here. I don't know if you can see that. I know it's a little dirty in here. Here's my. Uh, this is a uh, for the uh, vibrator for my um, uh, salter. So that just loosens up, you know, the salt when it, if it gets caked into the machine. Here's my controller here for the speed, you know, on off and blast. So like I showed you earlier, here's the two connectors. So I have the straight blade plugged in there. This one's for the, the V-blade. So let's turn this on. Simple, simple. I'm looking so forward to using this. Let's go up. All right. Look how high that is off the ground. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's going to conclude this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. 
and uh, click the, uh, the thumbs up, like the video, share it out. Hit the bell too if you're interested in seeing more videos. Uh, when new videos come up, uh, you'll get notified by uh, clicking the bell. And uh, always remember, just be nice to everyone. Do something nice for someone today. Okay? Peace to everyone.